My name is Karen Burton, and this is my Week 2 discussion for SLIS 703, Reference and Instruction, with Dr. Tu Kiefner. I chose to focus on the publication and dissemination part of the knowledge lifecycle covered in this week's lecture. My piece of information is the article titled, A Supercomputer Analyzed COVID-19, and an interesting new theory has emerged, a closer look at the Bradykinin hypothesis. I first encountered this article through the Facebook share of a friend of mine working on her PhD in biological sciences. The article was written by Thomas Smith and published on the publicly accessible website medium.com. It explains the findings of a scientific paper and provides a link to the original paper. Therefore, the article is a secondary source and the paper is the primary source. I first read the article 19 hours after it was first published on Medium. It already had 19 1,800 hand claps, which is the equivalent of a like on medium, which would be indicative of at least that many views. Looking at the Facebook page for medium, where the article was shared, there were 70 shares of the article directly from medium. Twitter yielded 39 retweets of the article from medium, and a Google search for the title of the article resulted in about 639,000 results. Fast forward to three days after publication, and the article has 32,000 hand claps on medium, 580 shares directly from Medium's Facebook page, 72 Twitter retweets, and a Google search resulted in about 16,300,000 hits. I don't know how to access metrics for how many times the article has been shared and reposted among all online platforms, but you get the picture of the rapid and widespread. This article is an example of how information published online is rapidly disseminated, which is facilitated by the current environment of easy sharing through social media and other platforms. While this can be useful at times, having information spread so fast can also contribute to the spread of misinformation or disinformation. Medium.com is an open publishing platform where anyone can create an account, write an article, and publish it. There is no editing, fact-checking, or peer review process. I did follow the link to the original paper and read it, and as far as I can tell, the article was accurate in paraphrasing their findings. However, this is often not the case. The spread of COVID-19 misinformation and disinformation, coupled with a lack of understanding about how the scientific process works, has led to many people being misinformed through the publication and dissemination of inaccurate or misleading information.